Good morning and welcome to Death Valley. This is pretty much the worst video ever made. Napoleon, like anyone can even know that. Hello my friends and welcome to Tom's Tinkering and Adventures. Well, I'm out for my morning walk here in Death Valley National Park. I'm up here for a few days to do some motorcycle riding, exploring, and uh, just enjoying myself in the desolate wonderfulness that is Death Valley. This place is massive and uh, very remote. They don't have cell service, hardly anywhere here. So if you want to get away from it and get off the grid, this is a good place to check it out. And like I said, I'm out here doing my morning walk get my miles in picking up a little bit of picking up a little bit of trash I'm very surprised at how clean the desert is out here uh, I'm coming in on a three mile walk here and I have a bag full of stuff but I had to work for it I had to root around a little bit but uh, once I get done with my walk and I get you back to camp I'll uh, show you what camp looks like and we'll get some GoPro footage and uh, I'll uh, get some video at different places I stop all right so there's a campsite at the Panamint Springs Resort and this is a ADV noob ride or, or noob rally they call it so if you're a new rider or new to riding in Death Valley or neither nor it doesn't matter you don't have to be a noob it's just uh, what they call it it's a good way to get an intro to Death Valley and this is my first time here so like I said I'll bring you back with some GoPro footage and some videos of places that we check out out here. Good morning and welcome to Death Valley. I'm here for the advrider.com Death Valley New Ride. This is my first time at Death Valley National Park and uh, heading out on a group ride right now called Intro to Death Valley so we'll see where this takes us. I got here last night, camped out, and uh, on the KTM 690, and uh, first ride, so the highway itself is pretty dang nice on its own, but we're going to uh, be exploring some dirt roads and see where it takes us. Even a little mud. The horizons here are pretty breathtaking. It's really nice. Just get this giant panoramic view of the Panamint Mountains. Just gorgeous views here. Sixty. Stopped at what's called the Ballarat Trading Post. I think this is a old mining outpost or something. You can see everybody enjoys Death Valley. We got a little extra passenger in the back up here. That puppy, loving the day. Got a lot of snow up here in the higher elevations. We're heading up to the charcoal kilns.
towns that were built <coughs> by miners to turn all this wood. I guess there was a lot more wood out here back in the day. They use these kilns to turn it into charcoal. And then they use the charcoal to run their smelting operations. So think about that. We're out here in the middle of this desert. At some altitude here, I mean, we're in the mountains, high desert as you call it. And the miners built all this stuff to make charcoal to mine. Interesting. This is the inside of one of these. And, uh, the sign over there said they were built in 1877. They only used them for three years. But being that old, it still smells like creosote in here. It's amazing what the uh, altitude will do, right? Got snow up here, 5,000 feet. Drop down, it'll be probably 15, 20 degrees warmer. It's not too bad, though. Not too bad. Big low valley, it's pretty nice here. Got the elevated mountains over there. Not so much on this side. Still a little bit cool. But not too bad. Out oh, riding with my buddies here today. Okay, so we just rode to the top of uh mountain here that we're standing on. Yeah, it's called Agaraberry Point. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly or not. But, uh, you know, we have obviously overcast. A little bit of mist, maybe even snowflakes coming down, but an amazing view up here. I don't know how well the camera's going to capture this, but when they say breathtaking, we came around the corner and it certainly was. Yeah, you can just imagine how it would be up here on a nice clear day. Well my GoPro doesn't be doesn't seem to be liking the cold, but that's okay. We'll get some footage, but this is the skidoo mine. Short hike from where we parked. Yeah, down a couple miles of dirt road. Very impressive. And another million dollar view up here. If I had something other than riding boots, I'd uh, scramble down there and dig around a little bit, but uh, it's too easy to trip with, with these things on, so still nice. Man, beautiful. Just the weird stuff you come to out here in the desert. That valley. A little spring here, a little pond, and uh, as you can see, the area we came through here. There's an old house foundation or something here. I don't know, looks like someone hangs out here occasionally. Maybe they're still here, I don't know. But there's fish in this little spring. Here and I'll show you the foundation and stuff. Actually, I might have to go around. That looks pretty muddy. You can see some of like there's a rock wall there, and there's some foundations. And just random stuff. I think there's a mine right up over there. And here's some other buildings that we can see over there, or building, I guess. Definitely looks like some sort of mining stuff. 
There's always all these pipes buried in the ground. Oh yeah, the 690 is a pig in the sand, but it'll do it. And I'm following a KLR 650, so I'm always like, well, if, if the KLR can do it, the 690 can do it. Oh, there we got some soft sand. Yeah, keep going, buddy. Uh-oh. <laughs> You just gotta channel your inner Dakar rally rider. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think they got more talent in their toenail than I got, but that's okay. My bike looks kind of like it's a Dakar bike. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they'd be chugging along in second gear though. They might be wide open in sixth. Roost flying off the back, launching it. But I don't think a KLR ever won to car, so there you go. That would be interesting, make a KLR 650 the car racing bike. Or even just get one entered into the Baja. If you can finish on a KLR, you might be uh, impressing some people. Welcome to lovely Darwin. Is the big city of Darwin. Thriving metropolis in the desert out here near Death Valley. Just a quick stop along the route here. Pretty. We have a KLR 650. These are good bikes, but uh, one thing you want to check these bolts that launch a foot peg. They've been known to be kind of weak, so you can upgrade them. You also want to make sure they're in there all the way. I think probably what happened in this situation is we had one come loose and the remaining one snapped off. I'm going to try to fix this on the trail. I wish the guys are long gone, but they'll figure out we're not here and come back for us. We're good. We got food and we got a view. All right, well, we tried to get the sheared bolt out we couldn't we found a replacement bolt and we got zip ties and a funky angle here so i'm just gonna have to ride wheelies or stoppies i think but it'll work so this is the uh post foot peg repair ride and uh following my buddy here on his klr I've seen him stand on the pegs a couple times, but I think he's probably putting most of the weight on the left hand peg. But we're still riding, so that's a good thing. You got a broken foot peg ain't gonna stop you from getting out. You get out of here. Now the thing is, are we gonna turn back to camp or are we gonna keep going? We'll see. This is what it's about right here. I like this. Rolling through all these Joshua trees. This is like a cattle range or something here probably. It's like a tank right there. It's beautiful. Nice day. It's a little bit crisp. It's not cold. It's not hot. The bikes are working. Minor issue foot peg. Whatever. We got her. We got her fixed. <laughs> we rode down the 
little two track out here and uh, we got a mine right here there's lots of mines out here dozens hundreds maybe and uh, i don't have a flashlight but we'll see what we can see in here it's pretty low the door's open Stay to the side. It goes in here a long way. So I'm going to take that video so I can use my phone as a light. I'll go a little bit farther. It was at the mine there. We saw these old uh, cabins across the way. So, road over here. You could just see those two, but there's also this one here. And, uh, this is all pretty rotted out to this side. It's kind of like a little uh, refuge thing. Inside of there, some uh, water and some canned goods and stuff like that, I guess, in case someone ends up trapped out here. I've heard of cabins like that in places like this, but I was just thinking about how long ago this was here and the beautiful view that they have. It's nice. And there's some of the not-so-beauty desert. All of these cans. There's cans. Thousands of cans here. Canned goods, I imagine, were the staple if you're living up here. They're everywhere. a little vista point right off the highway. Bazillion dollar. So today we rode uh, up to this valley here. We we're close to uh, the Barker Ranch, which was Charlie Manson's hideout back in the day. And uh, there's been a couple of these cabins. They're littered all over out here. It's pretty interesting. I got the truck packed up, bikes in the back. Had a great time out here in Death Valley. Uh, no injuries. Bike fell over a couple times in the snow, but besides that, I kept it on two wheels. And uh, there is a lot more to see out here. I could have had hours of footage and I still didn't see hardly a fraction of the park. So if you want to come out to Death Valley, make sure you have lots of time, lots of gas and uh, lots of fun. All right, if you're enjoying my content, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. If you're not already a subscriber, please consider doing so. Thank you very much for watching. Get out there and find your adventure. Adios.